this is Project Excelsior. Now, uh, with, with the success of Project Man High, the next thing that humans tend to do when they have a perfectly good high-altitude machine is jump out of it. And that's precisely what the goal of Project Excelsior was. There you see two dummies going up as a test. But again, riding a gondola, the mission here was to do high-altitude parachute jumps to, uh, to examine the environment and what would happen to a human being, a pilot, were they to bail out of a, an aircraft at high altitude. They started with these dummy tests, but then they moved on to human subjects, and the human subjects in the Project Excelsior jumps would be Joe Kittinger. Now, he wore a partial Air Force MC-3 pressure suit. Here you see his gear. And the reason he wore this partial suit was because he wanted to, um, they wanted to check and see and make it as realistic as possible with what a high-altitude pilot might be wearing uh, whenever he might have to undertake one of these jumps uh, to bail out of an aircraft. Now the first flight uh, or the first test was on 16 November 1959 and as Kitcher began to ascend his helmet fogged up he couldn't see his instruments and his helmet threatened to blow off and if that had happened at these altitudes he would have died almost instantly. So he missed his jump altitude of 18.3 kilometers and went up and made the jump at 23.1 kilometers he felt no motion. The air was so thin and he became unconscious. And his parachutes fouled, as you can see there when they deployed. And luckily, he was very lucky to be alive. Luckily, his main parachute line snapped and the reserve chute deployed which is what it was designed to do in this case. But he was actually lowered to the desert floor, unconscious, very lucky to be alive. Now the second Excelsior jump took place on 11 December of 1959. Again, Joe Kittinger was the jumper. And he jumped from an altitude of 22.7 kilometers and landed after a drop of 12 minutes and 32 seconds. Maybe you see him getting into the gondola. Or gondola. This is the highest step in the world, I'll say. And the ascent through a helium balloon to the very edge of space. Now the third Project Man High jump took place on 16 August 1960. This would be the last one. You could see the altitude of the jump. That's just amazing. Amazing. The third took place on 16 August 1960. Now his right glove did not pressurize properly and it swelled up to about twice its normal size. And he left the gondola or gondola at a much higher altitude of about 39.6 kilometers. The fall this time took 13 minutes and 45 seconds. And that jump from 39.6 kilometers remains to this day the highest parachute jump. It has never been equaled. And that is this final jump here. This is Project Excelsior, flight number three, a parachute jump, the highest parachute jump ever made in the history of the world. Here you see the ascent. And the jump.